Censorship comes in many forms. And over the past year or two, we've seen PayPal ban all sorts of people for not really violating their terms of service in any way, but for doing things they don't like, for having opinions that they don't like. And we've also seen uh, large credit card companies like MasterCard apply the pressure to have PayPal removed as an option. I know this very deeply as I use Subscribestar. Subscribestar, ugh, Subscribestar is a free speech supporting PayPal alternative that I use to support the channel instead of PayPal. I'm sorry, instead of Patreon because I was banned from Patreon for exposing uh, Magic the Gathering judges who enjoy spending unprecedented amount of times with young boys. And so Patreon banned me. Um, I did not violate their toss in any way. They just, you know, didn't like that I was exposing what apparently is some sort of protected class. Censorship comes in many forms, but before we get into that, a huge shout out to this video's sponsor. I just wanted to take a quick second to talk about a product I've been using recently that offered to sponsor this video, Dashlane. Dashlane is a cross-platform password manager and digital identity application that makes it easy to manage everything. They autofill all your personal info like addresses, credit cards, and passwords. They also generate super secure passwords, plus all the passwords that you do store with them are encrypted, making their password manager the safest place to store your info. Dashlane can be your one-stop shop for your digital identity by managing all of your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one. Your personal info and financials making your digital life safe and more secure. Dashlane works across all devices including Apple products, PC, Android, Safari, and Chrome. Give it a try free on your first device. Head to dashlane.com slash quartering. Now there are many alternatives, whether it's direct deposit, Skrill, Payoneer, transfer wise, a few other options, it cannot go without saying that it is a huge blow to somebody's earning potential when they lose PayPal. For example, look at my podcast with Count Dankula and Bering. We were demonetized from Google, which meant we could no longer receive super chats, thus forcing our audience to use a secondary option Streamlabs, which while better for us, in terms of percentage, since Streamlabs doesn't take any and PayPal takes 30%, uh, so few people want to sign up for just another thing. And who can blame them? So we had our earnings probably drop around 90% per episode now. Now, we don't do the show for the money. We all have our own YouTube channels. But if we did, this would be devastating. This would mean the show would not be able to continue to exist if we were depending on that. Now, of course, we've seen PayPal target all sorts of people that they don't like, not just the hub, we'll call it. PayPal bans YouTuber who thinks things they don't like. Look, I don't know, you know, I'm not in depth filled in on Stefan Molyneux, for example. Um, but again, not breaking their terms of service, but being terminated from being able to use PayPal. Also, people like Mr. Jones was also removed. Different types of people removed from a service, essentially put under significant financial stress as long as MasterCard or PayPal will, wills it. We had Laura Loomer also be deplatformed from PayPal. Again, for saying things they didn't like and probably wearing a dress that's too tight for her. I'm not sure. They picked a, an unflattering photo of her. Um, there's also uh, having information around them banning Joe Biggs. He's a retired American and a veteran. He's no longer allowed to use PayPal. You also have a blacklist of a conservative artist. Financial black, blacklisting. PayPal bans conservative street artist Sabo. Sabo, I, I would assume. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. I mean, you have an unending... How do you say that there isn't a bias that PayPal is enacting when 
there's so clearly one. Uh, it's the same that you would see on Patreon, which is why my subscribe star is my hidden war chest. Um, I use that to, uh, you know, cover lighting, cover expenses. But I also know that there'll come a time when they come for all of us. Um, PayPal's decision affects over 100,000 performers. And the official statement reads as follows. Urgent PayPal payouts no longer supported. This is exactly what we went through on Subscribestar. Subscribestar was fine for a couple of weeks and then bam, it was pulled. This is also, I, I think, what... Um, what was that other option that disappeared and stole all of our money? I can't even remember anymore. Their official statement goes on to say, we are all devastated by PayPal's decision to stop payouts to over 100,000 performers who rely on it for their livelihood. If you have PayPal as your payout option, please select a new method and update your information in your model settings tab. If you are pending an October payout and we're using PayPal, Please contact us immediately with your updated payment method and update your payment info in your settings tab. Payments will start to be sent out at the end of the week. We sincerely apologize if this causes any delays. We will have staff working around the clock to make sure all payouts are processed as fast as possible in the new payment methods. For European models, read direct debit, Canadians, direct deposit, US models, direct deposit, and for all payment methods, they have a link to this there are other you know payment methods uh verge verge is on a big rise prior to this time verge had been partnered with the hub in april since april 2018 according to coin 360 the coin has seen a rapid increase in price following paypal's announcement on november 14th built to ensure truly anonymous payouts verge is indeed important to this industry Shortly after PayPal's ban announcement, Verge released instructions on how the hub users can change their payment method to the Verge. The instruction also came with steps on how hub models can convert it into cash. Verge, uh, also I'm assuming traded XVG, is based on the networks such as Tor and I2P. They are both anonymity focused networks. It also comes with several layers of encryption to boost security and privacy. Currently ranked 71st on coin market caps, also trading at what four thousandths of a penny. I don't know if this is a reasonable option for these performers. What I do know is that these bans are devastating because us as creators or uh, performers, uh, maybe on the hub, you know, we can make that change easily, but if you're asking end users to sign up for another service, it's not going to happen. A tiny percentage of people will do so. And they know that PayPal has way, way too much power over the market. And people do need to start embracing alternatives. This isn't that different to say uh, how things are on YouTube and how things exist in big tech. These tiny cabals of people who all walk in lockstep with certain ideologies, certain things, end up working together and have way too much power over us. The fact that we've converted so seamlessly to digital currency these days leaves us extremely vulnerable to online censorship and unpersoning because with the flip of a switch, they can turn everything off for you. It can all disappear. And 100,000 people just had that happen to them on the hub. This is not different than what content creators who dare not to toe the line here on YouTube or if they're using, you know, Minds or BitChute or whatever, uh, look what happened to BitChute. They had PayPal enabled for mere days before having it removed. This isn't a coincidence. This is a form of hard censorship because they know that the platform or the creators themselves can't exist without. Verge is on a big rise. Prior to this time, Verge had been partnered with the hub in April, since April 2018. According to Coin360, the coin has seen a rapid increase in price following PayPal's announcement on November 14th. Built to ensure truly anonymous payouts, 
Verge is indeed important to this industry. Shortly after PayPal's ban announcement, Verge released instructions on how the hub users can change their payment method to the Verge. The instruction also came with steps on how hub models can convert it into cash. Verge, uh, also I'm assuming traded XVG, is based on the networks such as Tor and I2P. They are both anonymity focused networks. It also comes with several layers of encryption to boost security and privacy. Currently ranked 71st on coin market caps, also trading at what, four thousandths of a penny. I don't know if this is a reasonable option for these performers. What I do know is that these bands are devastating because us as creators or uh, performers, uh, maybe on the hub, you know, we can make that change easily. But if you're asking end users to sign up for another service, it's not going to happen. A tiny percentage of people will do so, and they know that. PayPal has way, way too much power over the market, and people do need to start embracing alternatives. This isn't that different to, say, uh, how things are on YouTube and how things exist in big tech. These tiny cabals of people who all walk in lockstep with certain ideologies, certain things, end up working together and have way too much power over us. The fact that we've converted so seamlessly to digital currency these days leaves us extremely vulnerable to online censorship and unpersoning because with the flip of a switch, they can turn everything off for you. It can all disappear. And 100,000 people just had that happen to them on the hub. This is not different than what content creators who dare not to toe the line here on YouTube or if they're using, you know, Minds or BitChute or whatever, uh, look what happened to BitChute. They had PayPal enabled for mere days before having it removed. This isn't a coincidence. This is a form of hard censorship because they know that the platform or the creators themselves can't exist without a source of income. And they know that people like me, you know, hey, I have a subscribe star and, you know, it exists. Nah, not that. 